fees in UK estate agency. Today I'm joined by Clement, who is the boss man of IAD, the new French self-employed estate agency model that's coming over to the UK to take over the world. Thanks for joining me today, Clement. My pleasure. The average fee in the UK estate agency is 1%. Is that enough? Talk to me. Uh, it's indeed the lowest commission rate we've seen all over the world. Uh, we're cur currently operating in eight markets, and most of these markets are, are aligned around a 4 to 5% commission. And the way IED positions itself in these markets is what we call not low cost, but fair price. It is usually 25% lower than the average of the market. So it's 3.4% before VAT, more or less. And, and, and that's an interesting story around the, the commission rates because uh, a few years ago when we were envisioning our uh, international development, of course the UK was, it was and is and will be one of the most attractive markets in the world. But uh, initially we were rebuffed by, by mm -hmm. this 1%. Like how can the state agents live with this level of commission? And then we, I mean, we've, we've been digging around it and we realized that compared to other markets, uh, it was generated by a uh, different market structure related uh, uh, da data like exclusivity rates, average value of property and productivity. And when you mix these four things at the end of the year in the pocket of the agent, uh, it's not that different from other markets. Why do you think fees are so low in the UK for estate agents? Um, not sure to be an expert uh, of the UK market enough yet to be uh, very relevant on this. But I th what, what for me very striking is the weight and the influence that Purple Bricks and other the same, I mean, what I would call very digitized, low cost players had on the market to drive probably commission rates down, or at least what, what, what we've seen. And, and the weight of this kind of players and uh, the influence they had on the mind of the buyers and sellers is probably far stronger in the UK than it is in any other market I know. Would it surprise you that the, um, the average fee in the UK was 1.6% in 2008? That's what I had in mind. Okay, and today it's 1%, but Purple Bricks only came online in 2014. And when Purple Bricks came online in 2014, it already slipped from 1.6 to 1.2. So if you actually look at the stats, Purple Bricks have had no effect and you actually look at the cold hard facts. So it's got to be something else. You know, you've been involved in UK State Agency now for at least six months and been doing your homework for 12 months. Why, why do you think estate agents in the UK don't value themselves with low fees? Because, you know, because they have low fees. Maybe um, it's also related to the, to the way the commission are split uh, because it's another key difference um, between what we see in other markets or and even st uh, stronger within IED where we redistribute 88% uh, of the commission. So um, from the commission split structure we've been seeing okay. in the UK, maybe the, 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 they're not enticed enough okay. to work out for that. I find it particularly interesting that when I talk to British estate agents, they have a certain profile and mindset. I don't know if you're aware of profiling. Uh, disc profiling is one of my favorites. But I find in the UK that most estate agents are on the disc profiling. They're outward going people, people, and their biggest fear is rejection. They're not red, right? They're not reds. They're, I think they call them blues. Is it blues, I think? Uh, so Blue is more analytical people. I would okay. say yellow. Is yellow the people people? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, it's good. So in, you're using a different model, but they're very yellow. Do you, are they, are estate agents in France and America where you are no, doing really well? They are well? definitely red. So why do you think UK estate agents are yellow, mainly yellow? And why do you think most estate agents in other countries are red or what we call Ds on the disc profile, which means they're they're process driven, they don't care what people think and they don't care about rejection. I don't know if you've noticed that in the UK. Uh, yes, I mean, that's, 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 very, that's very striking for me. And, and I think it's also good to, to, to take into consideration the level of satisfaction of end customers in this. Because from what I read, maybe I'm wrong on this, but uh, despite very low commission rates, 
the relationship mm. between uh, UK citizens and agents is not better than, than in France. It's not better. No. I mean, the, the level of trust for, for the, 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 the... Well, the state agents are at the le- with politicians. We wouldn't want and, to think to... And use car sellers. Indeed. And dentists. Do you think... Whereas in the US, for example, yes. with one of the highest commission rates in the world, 6% almost like legal, uh, uh, the people, I mean, the, the US citizens, are the happiest in the world uh, in their relationship with agents. So do you, it's almost like chicken and the egg, isn't it? We've got a type of personality who doesn't like rejection, so therefore will to use a British phrase, pull their pants down on their fees. I'm, I'm sure you have a French alternative. Um, just to get the listing. But the fees are lower to do that. And most agents mm. are seen as low in terms of the pecking order. Whilst in France and America, it's five, three, four, five, six percent and people are put on high. So which needs to change? Do the fees go up and it attracts better people in? Or not, necessarily, do... not necessarily better people, but maybe one key thing in this is the fact that um, in the markets you're mentioning, and very strongly at IED, we do not only attract people that stem from the real estate industry. It's a mix, it's a balance between uh, established professionals, like Lee and David, you mentioned in the, in the David Lee team that we are teaming with here, uh, British entrepreneurs that know the market by heart, uh, but also people that are career changers. And we, had, we have a lot of people in, 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 in these countries that were salespeople in other industries that were waiting maybe in the hospitality business and when they change their lives and become estate agents uh, and, and, and self-employed you, know, you don't have any fixed salary at the, at, the, at the end of the month so the energy you will put in this uh, is probably multiplied by two and the kind of people you attract that are ready to say okay no no fixed salary but i'm playing for 88 percent of the commission these are reds these are not the yellows Tell you what we'll do in the next video, let's talk about whether it's wise for IAD and other self-employed models to ask for people who are not estate agents to become estate agents. Is that okay? Definitely okay. Thank you very much.